the word transmits the life of God. That seekless life. That boundless life. In John chapter 6 and in verse 63, he said, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. The word of God transmits the very life of God into the recipients of the same. While I speak right now, everyone who came in here with any trace of affliction, I declare it is dissolved in the name of Jesus. If you are saying them and say it like a believer. As I speak right now, I see the very life of God transmitted into somebody here. Shout the Lord and say amen. So you don't, you don't, we don't just study the word of God for religious purposes or to satisfy your conscience. That um, you have um, read the Bible today. You study the word. You read the word to be well. What they call prophylaxis. You are not studying the word to treat an active sickness. You will study the word to prevent the sickness from staying. Am I communicating at all? When somebody has malaria, they prescribe chloroquine and all the other things that are anti-malarias. But for women that are pregnant for sickness and so forth, that will have challenge if malaria comes, that will be dangerous to them, they prevent the malaria from coming by giving them a prophylactic treatment that, that are prim, once weekly thereabout. So that they just remain, so that it does, it doesn't, the malaria doesn't come at all. That is what the word of God does for you. It can help you to collapse the active affliction and also help you to prevent it from arriving. Am I communicating at all? I prophesy to somebody here today in the name that is above every name, every affliction in your body now, I declare their dissolution right now. In the name of Jesus. 